This one's gonna be a hard one. There we got her. Yeah, see this is made really abstract where you can take and bend these around to hold a stone down in there. And it's rough like wood, like a limb type casting. I'm looking for a light, yep, light, light spot right. Now what I gotta do, get wax on there. You have to fill it completely with wax? Or? Well, I need to get enough wax to support the ring. Gotta make sure that I have this high enough. Not too high. Now if that doesn't do it, then I'll grab one of the other. It's, it's a little bit taller. No, nope, I'll have to grab one of the other ones. right there so we've got about a quarter of an inch a little more than a quarter of an inch which will be just about the right height for that. That's my backup. Okay now I should be close to having enough. Now I want to liquefy that. Okay, we got that. Normally, if you had a chance, you had a vibrating table as your best bet, but The ideal thing about this, you can see I've got a lot of little specks of silver in there, but the reason we put that powder in there, boric acid, is it helps line that in there so that when we want to take this out, if we keep it hot, it can be a, like that one piece I had there, a little knob. We got our slug. There we go. Okay. That little spot down there. In here. I'm going to turn it on low just for about 15 minutes. We will turn it on full high. This will help let a little bit of the wax melt out and hopefully get some of that moisture out of there. And we can turn it up and as soon as it glows that right shade of red, we can take it out and cast it. Could be redder, but that's pretty red. That gets hard there. Then we give it a bath. We don't think we got it. Oh, we got it! There it is. 
we got the ring and nice shining silver and remember I told you about bubbles there's a bubble right there yep. we got it and all most of the oh, we missed a couple of details over here I think is all you can still put a stone in there using these three four prongs this was a weird ring anyway yeah, I wonder what stone would look good in there. A blue stone, I bet. <laughs> <laughs>